it's a lovely day today and today we're on my plot um, and Tom is going to be harvesting my squashes. <laughs> Two weeks ago I fell up pavement and I fractured my foot so I'm on crutches and it's in a boot up to my knee so um, it's pretty hard to walk at the moment so this is the first time I've been up here since I did it. Tom is going to manage our plot and he's very kindly said he's going to get all the squashes today get rid of all the weeds and prepare the bed for covering up for the winter because I won't really be able to do much I don't think this winter. Here we are just coming up to the squashes so this is what we're dealing with today this entire patch of squashes there's two varieties here so we've got crown prints and we've got hunters there's a fair few that need to be picked so I'm gonna go through pick them up and then we're gonna take them home and put them into storage so they should be stored in a cool dry place and under the right conditions these can keep for well over six months so let's get cracking here I am at the squash patch where to start where to start well I reckon let's get one of these crown prints here we are oh, that's got two joints to it slip them off a few snails there All right here we go look at that beast first one
done all the squashes, they've all been picked. So here we go. Here's the squashes, a huge line, it almost fills the plot. There's mum at the end. Hi. Hi. Yeah, what a haul. There's uh, 70 hunter squashes. 70 and five of these. Crown prints. Yeah, pleased? Yeah, yeah, really. And we've already harvested about half a dozen squashes. Some of them are a bit small, but you know, what can you expect? <laughs> They're still good though. They are, yes, yeah. And they'll certainly make lots of soup and nice things over the winter for all of us. You've had as many squashes as we had in our last potato harvest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think we had 76 potatoes. Yeah, and actually it doesn't matter that some of them are a bit small because there's less seeds, so actually you get more flesh. They can be ripened, can't they? Yeah, at home. So how would you ripen the, the squashes at home? Would you just leave them in the cool, dark place? No, you need to ripen them in the sun. So we'll um, put them outside somewhere and then maybe turn them daily, as long as the weather stays nice. But yeah, that's quite a haul, isn't it? Certainly is. Let's go back along. So five of those. Get dizzy from looking at all these squashes. No, baby one. There we go. Here we are following a new cat, black cat. Well, this cat's a stray. Well, no, but, yeah, that cat. This is Flo's favourite cat. And then over here is Sylvie having her lunch. And Sylvie and Black Cat don't get on. They like to battle each other. So let's have some cat ASMR. Uh oh. Sylvie is not happy. Are you grumbling? Have you got anything to say? Oh, hi. No cat battles today. So back up the plot today. Dad's here. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm here before the last time I'll be up here for a while because I'm going in hospital tomorrow for a hip operation. So we're going to help Tom. He's very kindly offered to help. We're going to fill in, backfill that a little bit. And try and spread this out even it out a bit over that and then cover it for the winter so we're not gonna pull up all the squash no from yesterday it's gonna leave them because it will be good for the soil when it all rots down but yeah we'll have to we've got to move this and then put down the ground sheet and then that's it and then that's it for the squashes no more squashes for you my lead